And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here in studio. Quick shout out to our friends at Replenish IV Solutions. Uh, longtime friends of the show. About eight or nine years now we've been working with Stephen and Lisa Gunnan over at Replenish IV Solutions. I, I love going down and visiting their Gandhi location and getting that vitamin infusion drip directly into my, my bloodstream, boosting my immunity. Get something like the Myers cocktail. You may have heard of that. Vitamin C's, vitamin B's, zincs, all the good stuff going into your body. ReplenishIVSolutions.com. Make sure you let them, let them know you heard about them right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, replenishivsolutions.com. Check them out online. And uh, before we get to our guest in studio, we have Roger Coons, uh, Music and Cinema. He's the president uh, of the uh, organization. And also Jason Nelms, uh, he's a design engineer uh, with the company. We're going to talk about all these uh, audio and visual uh, automations that you can do in your home. I love these areas now because there's so many things you can do uh, when you're automating your home, your your systems, the movie and cinema side of it. Uh, a lot of fun stuff to talk about here coming up. Uh, before we do, we always like to feature our real estate properties live on air. It's part of our strategy where we, we help our sellers maximize the exposure, sell faster for more money uh, than other real estate companies. 2907 North Florida Avenue uh, right here in beautiful Tampa Bay. This is a commercial property, large commercial property, 12,000 plus square feet on uh, North Florida Avenue in Tampa. Great opportunity because you have two buildings. So this is great for a business owner that maybe wants to move his business into one of these buildings and then rent the other out. You've got about $6,500 a month in income coming in. Great opportunity for a large retailer potentially. It used to be a large uh, fishing uh, store type of a retailer with merchandise. You also have offices up front. Uh, opportunity also to potentially rezone and go vertical. You can go up to about five or seven stories tall. Uh, I've heard stories of uh, potentialities for for the, uh, the uh, self-storage as well in this location. 2907 North Florida Avenue in Tampa. Three-quarter acre lot. Great opportunity to own real estate right here in beautiful Tampa Bay. It's also for lease as well. Anybody looking to lease this property, uh, great opportunity at 2907 North Florida Avenue in Tampa. Another riverfront property, River Road, Port Ritchie, New Port Ritchie here, 5930 River Road. On the Cody River, you have 80 feet of frontage on the Cody River. Thinking about having your Florida lifestyle here, four bedrooms, three and a half bath. Uh, you also have the ability to bring your boat and jet skis and enjoy that Florida living. Formal dining room with chandelier, stained glass windows. Too many upgrades to list here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. You also have a metal roof, stone construction, cypress wood shingles, and a great opportunity here for that Florida waterfront property. Access to the Gulf of Mexico through the Cody River, uh, 5930 River Road, Newport Ritchie. And you can see all of our listings online at Platinum Coastal Elite. Dot com. Somewhere sunny and 75. All right, fellas, welcome into studio, Roger Coons and Jared, or I'm sorry, Jason Nelms. Uh, welcome into the show, man. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Thanks for excellent. Having us, Brandon. Yeah, tell uh, Roger, tell us a little bit about this company, man. I, I wow, I'm you know doing some of the research. 37 states, serving a lot of customers, and just sounds like a really awesome organization and a company. It seems like something that people really like as well. So the the 37 states that that's a business I own up uh, north that kind of complementary to what uh, me purchasing the business down here. So um, music and cinema has been around since 1987. Uh, it's it's uh, a boutique kind of business to where we work with uh, home builders and home buyers, and we essentially work with them from the moment that they decide that they want to build. We help them design and engineer. We work through the builder. We make sure that um, we work with them along the entire process till that home is uh, a commission and they have the keys in their hands. And uh, um, we've been doing that, again, for over 40 years. Uh, about uh, 15 years ago, music and cinema kind of scaled down quite a bit due to the uh, 2008 to 2010 housing crash. And uh, the owner at the time, he, he kept his core people around. He wanted to make sure that the, the business stayed profitable and he didn't want to have to experience having to, you know, do the types of uh, things that we had to do back in 2008 to 2010. So uh, I had become friends with uh, the previous owner, and I was back during uh, the COVID years, so it was like 2020, 2021, and uh, I own a security business up in Ohio, and my family and I were traveling down here all the time to just kind of get away from some of the tyranny type things that we felt yeah. up north. and uh, <laughs> Refugee. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it was like, well, we're going to spend all this time down here. I'd like to figure out a way of making some money down here. And 
uh, as most Floridians uh, know, there's a lot of a lot of uh, migration south from the north, and uh, I wanted to kind of take advantage of that. So I found a business that was complementary with the low voltage. Uh, and when Jeffrey told me that he wanted to retire, I thought that this was a great opportunity for uh, my family and I to 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 get an opportunity to own a business down here and help it grow. So on in May of 2022, I purchased Music and Cinema. Um, we have a, a, a core team that really knows what they're doing, does an awesome job. And uh, over the past two years, I've kind of figured out, you know what, I think we're ready to, you know what, I'm 43 years old, I'm ready to grow this business a little bit more. Um, the previous owner, he was a little bit later in his years. He wasn't yeah. maybe as full of uh, spit and vinegar as I am. So, yeah. um, so just over the last two years, I've made sure that I had a good grasp of how the business is run, how the market works, and now we're ready to kind of put our – and we're not looking to, to like, scale in a large, large, uh, you know – Take over the world right. type <laughs> we, we scale. Just, we just want to – we want to – we work with a core set of – home builders and designers and real estate agents. We're ready to like introduce our services to more people, grow, but do it in a in a definitely in a manner that we're not gonna hurt our control current. manner. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I like that. Uh and, and Jason, give us your your side of it now. So you're coming from the design side sure. of the engineer. <clears throat> so I'm a custom design engineer and what I feel that essentially is is a guide. So I'll basically guide you through the whole process. <clears throat> There's so many things with technology People just get confused or overwhelmed with whether it's TVs or speakers or uh, smart home gadgets. So I basically ask them a whole lot of questions, take it all down, and I can guide them to the best possible products for them and their family. Yeah, I like that. And and I think, you know, especially when you're looking at some of the resale value, what I'm looking at on the real estate side, sure. I see some of these homes that have the auto, just the amazing uh, home theater systems in there, the automation, the ability to have, I, I love it when I walk outside from, you know, if, say I'm inside and we're entertaining and then we go outside, it's like a seamless transition. Exactly. We got speakers outside by the pool, by the boat dock. Uh, so that's what, I think that's what the convenience factor people are looking for. Most definitely. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about you know what some of your recent success stories have been, or what you're what you're looking at doing when you when you think about you know that blend of home automation with the theater system with the audio systems. Sure. So a lot of that is having total control of the project. If somebody says you know do the whole house the way you would do it if it were your home, so we can have a, a full you know the, the entire house on a lighting control system, <clears throat> and what that means is you could basically press one button in the house. And it will turn off every single light. It will lower the shades. It will turn off the TVs. It will turn off the music. Um, so that's really kind of the things I like to design and that we see that people appreciate the most. Yeah, and, and sometimes if you have a bigger home, I know uh, with our home we had some challenges from one side to the other with the controls. Are you, aren't you able to put like boosters where it will boost the Wi-Fi over Things of that nature. Yeah, most definitely. Those are wireless access points, and that's a yeah. huge thing for everything right now. You know, everything that we have in our house is connected to the Internet, whether it's your phone or your refrigerator or dishwasher or right. speakers. Everything is connected to the Internet. So you need yeah. that strong Wi-Fi connection to uh, – ensure all those things work properly. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. If you just joined us, folks, we're talking with Roger and Jason from Music and Cinema, a uh, local company right here in Tampa Bay. We talk a lot about supporting the local economy with the Consumer Quarterback Show. So thank you so much for supporting this show and continually, you know, it really makes my day when I get those phone calls, phone calls, or we get those emails of, of people coming in and saying, hey, I want to be introduced to, you know, insert contributor here. We've got all the best uh, attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors, uh, local providers here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, so, Jason, uh, when you're when you're looking at the smart home technology, you know, we, we've come a long way and there's mm -hmm. also some future trends that we're seeing as well. What are you seeing in like future trends? It's just voice, voice commands. A lot more voice. Yeah. yeah whether it's uh, Google or Alexa, Siri or Josh AI, you know, you walk into your house and you say, hey, Google, turn on the lights. Yeah. All the lights turn on for you. So it's just it's convenience. 
Yeah, the convenience factor. That's right. And I like the appreciation side. And also when you're, you know, uh, Roger, when you're looking at, you know, this resale, I'm noticing a lot of the homes that have these systems in place, the ability to uh, ha have a faster closing on it, more appreciation, and people are walking in. And it's, and it's similar to a property that has uh, repairs that needs to be made or old drywall. I had an appointment last week that had a bunch of old, not drywall, but uh, wallpaper. You know, <laughs> like People don't want to walk into a project. So when you have this type of systems already in place, it's just one more buy box that checks for the buyer uh, in somewhat of a competitive market still. People don't really understand it's still a competitive market, especially certain pockets, certain areas, certain zip codes. Well, and, um, you know, one of the things we've discussed is instead, you know, a lot of people, they'll upgrade their kitchen, they'll upgrade their bathrooms, they'll do all those sort of things to, right. you know, take their home to being worth the next level. Well, yep. if you've owned that house for 20 years and, yeah, you put a nice home theater system in it 20 years ago, right. why not spend some money upgrading that before you put it on the market or making sure everything's working so that way when a home buyer comes through there, you know, that's one thing that might, you know, you might put a $10,000 investment into it and get $20,000 out of it. Right. Yeah, I can see that. Absolutely. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, people will buy a new home. It could be a million dollar home or it could be an $11 million home. So an $11 million home that's brand new, uh, I'll meet the new homeowner and they think they have this really awesome, you know, home, autom home automation or audio distribution or lighting control system, only to find out that maybe the contractor put in the bare bones, the contractor made mm. stuff. So they're kind of disappointed. Yeah. That, you know, after they spend $11 million, they need to spend another... Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars to get the technology up to today's standards. Right. Yeah, I can see that, especially if it's more of a, uh, you know, custom versus a, um, you know, kind of a, the row housing type sure. thing. You could see that. I could right. see that playing out. Yep. And the quality, the speaker quality, or the different components. There's there's different levels of quality, right? Most definitely. Yeah. When you're looking at that. All right. Let's take a quick break. We're going to come back and, and talk more about this home automation, smart home technologies uh, with Roger and Jason from Music and Cinema uh, coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Also, follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one at CQB Show. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. When you get to your next red light, subscribe. YouTube channel, Brandon Rhymes Realty, or just search Consumer Quarterback Show. And we'll be right back here. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. To get in touch with Brandon, call 727-263-3707. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Patriot Mobile is America's only Christian conservative wireless provider who shares your values. They offer the very best nationwide coverage on 4G and 5G LTE networks and exceptional 100% U.S.-based customer support. Patriot Mobile offers discounts for veterans and first responders, NRA members, and families with multiple lines. Learn more at PatriotMobile.com forward slash consumer QB. That's PatriotMobile.com forward slash consumer qb or if you'd like to give us a call you can reach out at 727-263-3707 that's 727-263-3707 and we'd be happy to tell you more about patriot mobile Selling commercial, vacant land, or residential properties? Don't leave money on the table. List with the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. I'm Brandon Rhymes. You can reach me at 727-263-3707. Call or text 727-263-3707 online at ConsumerQB.com. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here in studio with Roger and Jason from Music and Cinema. All your smart home technology. Uh, they're working with home builders as well, home theaters. You have uh, the audio systems, all that automation that you find uh, in these smart homes. Uh, more with them uh, coming up here in just a moment. Uh, before we do, I want to give a quick shout out to our friends over at Discovery Golf Cars. Longtime friends of the Consumer Quarterback Show, Discovery Golf Cars. They've got the Easy Go, the Cushman, the Star 
Star EV. They got new and used, and they hooked me up with the beautiful Keller Williams Red. And all the boys love going for a ride on the golf cart. We use it for uh, commercial use as well for our real estate business. We're out there uh, doing door knocking around some of our listings and other events. Uh, so check them out online, discoverygolfcars.com. And make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on those special offers and incentives. All right, a couple of hot property listings here in beautiful Tampa Bay. Uh, we got some great listings right now. 7300 Southwind Drive in Hudson. Uh, this one is a, a beautiful property in uh, Gulf Harbors. It's a, it's a great opportunity to own real estate right here uh, in Tampa Bay. 7300 Southwind Drive in Hudson. Uh, this one is in the Sea Pines community of Tampa Bay, Pasco County. Three bedroom, two bath, 1726 square feet. Uh, you have the perfect blend of comfort and luxury in a tranquil setting. Nestled on a double lot, the property boasts an expansive circular driveway, concrete parking pad. Uh, you also have space to park an RV or a boat. It's great for golf carts in that community as well. Large pool. You got an 18 by 30 foot pool and a lot of updates and upgrades to mention here. At 7300 Southwind Drive in Hudson, uh, screened in pool, and you have a tiki bar in the back. Beautiful property uh, right here in Tampa Bay. And we also have a home for sale in St. Pete Beach. This one's 6441 Fourth Palm Point, St. Pete Beach. And I love this waterfront property. We've got a lot of great waterfront homes available. Uh, this one's three bedroom, two bath, 2280 square feet uh, with beautiful, stunning views of Boca Siega Bay. It's a split level floor plan, spacious kitchen for entertaining. And I love the, the view. It's almost, it's just a great view there with the boat dock and you have the uh, private a pool in the back there great access to st pete beach and it almost has that infinity edge type look when you're looking out at the pool and boca siega bay the beautiful gulf waters there 6441 fourth palm point st pete beach and you can see all of our listings online at platinum coastal elite.com check out platinum coastal elite.com all right, so we've got uh, Roger Coons in the house. He's the president of Music and Cinema. Also, Jason Nelms as well as custom design engineer. And uh, I failed to mention in the first segment, but I, I'm, we, uh, you guys are veterans. You, so you're Marines. We love That's our right. veterans around here, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your service. And thank you, uh, you know, for, for all you've done for the country, man. It's really, it's really amazing. Thank you amazing. for paying me while I served. That's yeah. right. <laughs> right. That's right. Good. We love it. I'm glad. And how does that how does that relay and transfer and how do those skill set relay and transfer into your business? At Roger, I'll go first here. Um, well, I enjoy it. So I had, um, between the number of businesses that I have, I have about ten or twelve uh, previous active duty uh, veterans that work for me, and I love it because you know as a business owner you can. You can speak a little bit more directly to them. Right. Uh, <laughs> you can uh, have conversations with them that maybe a civilian, you know, you might have to tiptoe around. Sure. Um, take, it, take it without crying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> without so. crying. Yeah. And go. they can speak probably. Uh, uh, but you also know that you're going to get a polite and professional technician out there in a customer's home. That's really what I love is the fact that, like, right. I can send them out there. Um, they're going to be in front of customers because that's all that we do. And um, I no one's ever going to say that they're not going to call music and cinema back because we were way too polite and professional when we were at their home. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, it's one of our core values. So uh, it was huge for me when I heard that Jason was a Marine when I was looking at, you know, purchasing the business. So uh, I would probably say that that was the, the main factor that pushed me over making the decision to doing it. So Yeah, uh, that's sweet. I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's very sweet. The same, same question to you, man. That you know, how does that? Because I look at it also from a football perspective. You know, you kind of sure. have that mindset, right? right? And similar similar values. Yeah. Well, for me, and you know, Roger being a Marine, when I learned that he was buying the business, I, that made me feel uh, confident that you know who, who who was coming in was going to lead, and that we could trust in him. And what those uh, values that the Marines gave me was, you know, loyalty. You know, I've been with Music and Cinema for over nine years now. Respect. I respect our employees, uh, Roger, and especially our clients. Yeah. Um, so I think that a military experience, especially the Marines, gives a lot um, right. to give back. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome, man. I love that aspect of it. Now, home builders, this is this is an interesting area of business to explore because when you look at 
you look at home builders, uh, you know, we have a severe lack of inventory. We've had a lo- for a long time. We've been kind of battling that uphill, you know, fight against inventory. You know, so many people are moving down to the free state of Florida and for all the ma- reasons sure. that that many of us know. Uh, but but it is a challenge. You know, people are being priced out a lot of times, too. They're being priced out of their uh, areas where they're serving as a paramedic or, a, a, you know, right on down the line, any kind of worker in, in that line. Uh, talk to us about how you work with home builders. What's some of the strategy there, and, and how does that process look like? We'll go back and forth between Roger and myself, but you know we don't really do cookie cutter homes. Yep, um, it, we're more custom. We want to be intimate with the client. You know, we want to you know have a have a relationship from the very start to the very end. And uh, once the project's complete, we'll we'll service them. You know, until until they move or until they you know just get a, a different house or something. But anyway, yep. we. We focus on the custom home where we can really dive uh, deep into the technology, and um, we've just found that that works really well. And we make sure it's a win-win for everybody all the way around. So the um, where it's beneficial for the, uh, the home, custom home builder is that they have somebody with the wherewithal to come in with uh, you know a, a customer who's gonna want something above you know your Best Buy or your Lowe's Home Depot type of product. Right. Um, and we take care of that customer to where, uh, you know, a lot of these builders have other subcontractors or things like that that might not have the best relationship with the uh, homeowner at the end of the process, where we, on the other hand, maintain that relationship. And we take that headache, at least that one headache, off of the, the builder's plate. Sure. And that we, we make sure that that customer has everything that they need, going back to making sure that things are done on time, making sure that... We stay up to date. Hey, when is the electrician going through? We come in right behind them. Yeah. Um, and those t- type of things that stay on top of it to make sure that the customer and customer experience is where it needs to be so that that builder, again, or that we don't want us to be the headache for them. Right. Yeah, and we hear a lot from our from the homeowners that are building a house. You know, they'll say, oh, this house should have only taken a year, a year and a half to build, and now it's three years later, and they're fed up. And they'll oh, say, yeah. Jason, you know, you guys have been like, the savior. I mean, it's been so pleasant to work for you and your team, you know, out of everything. I know it sounds, may sound a little silly, but you know, the technology portion has been the best part of this whole project. Yeah. No. And and I hear that a lot too, with building, even our home took, took a inordinate amount of days. And you know, if I said the number of days, most people would be like, wow, he's shocked uh, with that, but, but it does. So, so I love it. Um, and, and Alex was put uh, flashing the website up there. I, I just want to go through some of these categories because you have, you know, when you think about smart home, you have light and shade control. Uh, you're looking at the beautiful outdoor lighting there. Uh, you have vid- video systems, outdoor living as well as another huge one, of course, home automation. Now, a lot of this home automation is, is right on a smart watch or Definitely. your iPhone, correct? That's right. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, just lift up your watch and say, hey, Siri or whatever, execute this. Boom. And, and there you go. Love it. I love it. That's uh, that's a lot of fun. Now, uh, what is the website? How do you want people to contact you guys? Uh, musicandcinema.com is the website, and you can either contact Roger at musicandcinema.com or Jason at musicandcinema.com. Um, or call our office, uh, 727-408-5111. Perfect. And, and musicandcinema.com. So the email is just first name at musicandcinema.com. That's right. And also we'll get uh, your all your contact information up on our website at consumerqb.com as well. That's a central place where our audience knows to go. And, uh, yep, yeah, fellas, it's been a pleasure speaking with you here. Uh, final thought, uh, 20 seconds back to you. First time doing a radio show, so it's fun. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Awesome, man. I love it. Now, we feel like we're, we've kind of been like this secret that nobody really knows about. So we're, we're just trying to get some more, yeah. you know, attention. And uh, again, like Roger said, we're not looking to take over the entire world. We just want to make people aware um, that, that we're out there. Controlled growth. That's right. I love it. Right. Check them out online, folks. Musicandcinema.com. Musicandcinema.com. Roger and Jason, thanks for coming in. Appreciate Thank you, you guys. All right. Hey, another great show. I want to thank attorney Frank Miranda as well on the front end. Of course, our friends at musicandcinema.com. We want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Do something kind for one another. Be a force for good in the community. And we'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, consumerqb.com. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback. 